okay now I'm going to explain date functions in Oracle Oracle stores date in internal numerical format like century year month day hours minutes seconds the default display and input format of any date is ddmonrr that means date month rr format and valid dates are between january 1st 4712 bc to december 31st 9999 ad so and this one that means it stores 21st century dates in the 20th century by specifying only the last two days of the year. Enables us to store 20th century dates in the 21st century in the same way. Okay. And in this example, if you show the example that is shown in the slide, is using the height date for employee gets it displayed in the default format DDMON RR. However, these dates are not stored in the database in this format it may be something like date month year century hour minute second okay make a note of and oracle server is compliant with 2000 2000 compliant when a record stored record with the date column is inserted in table the century information is picked up from the sysdate function. However, when a date column is displayed on the screen, the century component is not displayed by default. The date data type always stores information as four digit number internally. Two digits for a century and two digits for a year. For example, Oracle database stores as year as 1996 or 2001, not just as 96 or 01. Okay, what is a sysdate function? Sysdate is a function that returns date and time. When you use sysdate from DL, it will give you the date and time. You can use sysdate as you would use any other column name. For example, you can display the current date by selecting sysdate from a table. It is customary to select sysdate from a dummy table called DL. You can use dummy table called DL for to get the to, to know the current date. So let me show you an example. What is the time now? To know the time. You can use select this date from DL. So today's date is 8th October 2011. So how to use automatic uh, operations with the dates. You can add number to a date or subtract number to a date to get the resultant date value. And you can add hours to date by dividing the number of hours by 24. Let me show you one example. Here I'm going to add this date. I want to know the date. So today is the 8th October. So if I add 7 days, I should get 15. 15th October. So you can add or you can subtract from the date. So 1st October. So I'm now adding 7 hours. Let's say 20 hours by 24. So I should get tomorrow's date because I'm adding 20 hours so I should get tomorrow's date 9th October okay you can add subtract 
and multiply that means add hours to a date by dividing the number of hours by 24 okay so in this slide in this slide display the last name and number of weeks employed for all employees in department num department 90 it subtract the date on which employee was hired from the current date and divide the results by 7 to calculate the number of weeks that a worker has been employed make a note this date is a sql function that returns current date and time okay if if a more current date is subtracted from older date the difference is a negative number let me show you this example so that last name comma six date if an i date minus i i date slash by seven i'm dividing by seven as weeks number of weeks how many weeks he worked from his joining date where department score id equal to 90 so i'm getting so there are three employees in department number 10 90 king kocha dihan so they work like 433 three weeks 355 315 weeks 560 weeks okay so now date functions